hi beautiful people how you all doing welcome back to another video on my channel thank you so much for joining me my name is blessing and you're welcome to my blessed on tv in this video i want to bring you an update about our brother dr oguname you know i did a video about him passing a few days ago at that time the story was developing and uh, we didn't know much what happened to him we were just all you know giving our own suggestion and, and our own thoughts about what we thought would, could have happened but now i have some update from people who are members of his family and yeah they have uh, said what happened to him and i thought that i can only share it with you guys so who is this dr Ogunama? he's um somebody that promotes african religion so his team is going back to the uh, roots going back to the african religion not christianity not islam but back to the roots the african religion and this is what he's pushing and i think it is a god that has to do with water or something like that our ancestral heritage has to be something everybody will recognize us with so this is why today we are back home to keep on promoting this africa tradition Africa spirituality because we are already who we are before we were invaded and introduced to something that is alien to our nature. So this is basically his belief and this is basically what he does. Although he also does videos, talks about Nigerian politics and other things concerning his own part of Nigeria, which is a do state. So yeah, he was very active on social media, has a lot of fans and that's why he's very popular. And yeah, he was based here in Germany. So he traveled that day and upon arrival, he was received and you know, there was a lot of festivities. People were dancing, they were happy to have him back. And he even gave press a statement talking about what he does and why he does them. And uh, yeah, in my last video, I was telling you guys that um the he was having a, a live video and then he slumped at that point apparently that is not what happened that was at the point that they were still driving in the car they said that what happened was that they were doing this their traditional religion stuff and they were hectic dancing and and so he slumped so when he slumped they were thinking it was the spirit that was catching him because there's a way that they are supposed to be dancing and there's a way that the spirit is supposed to move them so at that point they were thinking it was the spirit that was moving them so they didn't even realize what was happening to him and he couldn't talk because yeah he's asthmatic he's asthmatic so they said he's asthmatic and so he slumped and he needed his inhaler and the inhaler was with the mom and the mom was sitting at the back and there was a lot of people in between because uh, you know he's in front he's in the middle of it all and they said the mom is old and she's somewhere a little bit farther behind so trying to get the mom to come forward and bring the thing for him was difficult and then in the course of all these things you know it was already too late so I don't know how true this is but um, yeah this is the much I've heard I find this thing very very sad because uh, for example here in Germany all the people who had problem with breathing like asthma any kind of condition that made breathing a problem for you they were all exempted for wearing masks so um, you just had something to show that you have been exempted so I'm surprised that when it got to Nigeria even though he's uh asthmatic patient here and he's not allowed to wear mask here um he was wearing mask in nigeria of course because he's afraid of course because uh, nobody knows how uh, the the epidemic or the pandemic is going down there so yeah and i think that is also one of the trigger plus there was no rest the whole time he came festivities running around and all those kind of a thing so yeah it's very very unfortunate that he left Germany and four days later he has passed uh, because of this kind of uh, minor negligence because uh, for example if they have acted immediately like uh, for example if they knew his condition they will know that it was something that happened to him and they will try to reach for his inhaler but because you know there's always this charged atmosphere when it has to do with spiritual so everybody was just there doing spiritual 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 uh, looking on and down 
dancing, thinking it was the spirit that was holding on to him. I mean, this is the story. Of course, of course, if I hear any other thing, if there's any new information regarding what happened, I'm still going to bring it to you guys. But for now, it is being said that he's an asthmatic patient and he had a asthmatic crisis and he was not able to get hold of his inhaler as quickly as possible as quickly as he needed it and it turned out to be a fatal outcome in the end yeah so the family are bereaved and you know they can't believe what has happened and of course even everyone that didn't know him in person that were following him in one way or the other is still a, a a huge shock and a loss people can't believe that this vibrant young man you know that he has passed you know i don't know how old he is let me not just say young man but of course uh, you wouldn't say he's old but of course he's maybe in the late 40s 50s something like that i don't know how old he is but uh, yeah he left his family here in germany i suppose and he went to nigeria and then yeah there are a lot of people that are saying it's a spiritual attack and there are actually some mischievous people uh, who are happy that what happened to him is because he is insulting uh, their cause or whatever uh, that their new country is, you know, is a spirit anybody that speak against it you know all, of course all those kind of things are just hogwash you know um, I think what happened is an, a medical emergency at first I was thinking that it could be this um, you know um, cardiac arrest and that there was no body to perform a CPR on him and you know bring him back to life but nonetheless it's still a, a medical emergency if it is said that you know he couldn't get hold of his inhaler because he was with the mom for me personally I will say that uh, what I can take away from this is everybody should be uh, more mindful of their health status um yeah i know that we are all pencil in the hands of god the creator but i think that for example if he was here in germany and he went into that kind of crisis he would have been savaged because the people will not be taking so much with spiritual they will be you know more practical what is the problem well does he have a history of this what can be done that kind of a thing but because we are always always taking on spiritual 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 so people are easily carried away with spiritual things and they don't attend to the physical world is very very imminent and present in their presence there you understand me so i'm thinking that maybe if somebody is in a situation like that you know you are an asthmatic person and you are going home for example i i saw that it's so some kind of uniform like some kind of actually before the program i would assume that i would suggest that if you are somebody that have that kind of medical uh, problem or medical issue and you need a particular medication for you to survive any emergency i would suggest that you put even if it's like a small inner pocket in that cloth that tell them to sew that special pocket there so you can put that thing inside there and zip it so you know if anything is happening you can quickly reach it and take it for yourself or even you can do something like you know there's something like a key holder you can put it on your neck and wear it it will be like a chain for you because you know you are the one that know your program because you know of course many times you don't want to tell somebody all, all your challenges what you are going through so you can have some atom of control and then i will also suggest that if you are coming back from here for example in the last yeah everything has been calm quiet not so much hectic not so much noise you know um that people should take um the initiative to rest when you go home because especially you, you don't have the same energy that you had maybe i don't know how old you maybe when you are in nigeria and then you left and then you spent some years and you are going back you know so years have passed you don't have that energy and you've been in a place where there have been not that loud noise the whole time so i would suggest that if somebody goes home what you can do maybe take some time to rest take some time to be by yourself you know um yeah visitors will be coming you know take some time out to um you know separate yourself where you can you know calm down cool your head you know take your health very seriously and if you have any kind of uh, special medication make sure 
you have it by your side or you know people around you know so that in case if you enter that kind of emergency that they know what is happening so for example since they said it was asthma I, i'm assuming if the people around him knows that something like this can happen and uh, this is what to do if something like this should happen they will not be thinking that it's spiritual they will react immediately you know this is just how i'm looking at it that doesn't mean that it is not a sad thing but you know when something has happened it has happened it is for the living to learn something from it that's what i'm thinking that if you go to nigeria be safety conscious be more conscious of your health and how you can help yourself if there's a medication that you need for your life make sure that the people that will be around you the whole time have a make sure that you have a provision for that medicine inside your body have a pocket have a way you carry it that you know that you can always reach it because even though sometimes if, if it may be finished you may not be able to buy it you know so it's better that anything that you need for your personal need that you take it and if you don't want to take uh, let people around you know that you make provision of in case there's an emergency what can be done how can it be uh, done you understand i think sometimes um this may be able to save somebody's life for example going forward if people who are asthmatic have that inhaler all the time on them so you don't need to call anybody once you are feeling weak you grab it you know it's the same thing maybe people who, who also have um, sugar problem blood sugar make sure you have your insulin make sure you have it with you that you can give yourself a jab and you you know something like that i mean this is just what i'm thinking you know what else can I say? I don't know. My condolences to the family. And uh, yeah, it's still a shock to people who know him. It's still a shock to people who follow him on Facebook. And the family has not still come out here. They are still grieving, which is understandable. But yeah, this is uh, the update I wanted to bring to you guys about his passing. May his soul rest in peace yeah so i don't know if you have any other thing to add you're always free to write in the comment section you can contribute and give us more information and yeah thank you so much my people i will see you in another video bye for now